Currently over in southern Ontario too. this view coming to us from Windsor toward downtown and you can see some of the low clouds out there capable of leaking out a few flakes or flurries. Also a little patchy fog. No big problems at all on the roads. You can see here air temperatures in the blue. The gold bar has your wind chill temperatures and we are in the 20s as far as a feels like temperature, but low and middle 30s under these cloudy skies, that's likely where those numbers will stay. We have to account for this north northwest wind 5 to 15 at times gusting 15 to 20. So then again, a cool breeze. Not great. Feels like the 20s all day. Just a few flakes here in the morning. Uh, on the United States side, Canada side will see more as the snow showers are sort of peeling back from the East Coast. And you can see there are some heavier bands just north of London. This will be settling down across portions of southern Ontario. We'll watch Macomb County, St. Clair County, even Wayne County might see a few flakes from this. A few flurries you can see up into our north zone as well. But the driving force, low pressure scooting away from us with this wet weather for mainly the East Coast today and then high pressure sneaking in. So the winds sort of funnel in between the two and we get a north wind that makes things not only feel cooler, but it kicks up the breeze a little bit out there as well. Not a whole lot falling from the skies here through the afternoon, mainly just east side and north zone for any flakes and flurries this morning. Now tomorrow, I think we get through the day, another cloudy, cool, mainly 30s kind of a day, uh, but a disturbance rumbles into the area late Tuesday, early Wednesday. The impact from this one looks very minimal as well. We'll keep an eye on it. It. Uh, almost a little clipper like, but not seeing the moisture from this one. So just a few flakes late Tuesday and on and off flakes or flurries Wednesday. Not really stacking up to much here. Uh, we have upper 30s to near 40 all week. That is it. The warmest day looks to be Sunday. And wouldn't you know it, we've got a weather maker coming in Sunday. It should be rain to end your weekend.